everybody, it's Sassy, and I'm here live in Times Square in New York City on the red carpet at Night of a Thousand Gowns. We have amazing interviews. There's fabulousness in the air. I can't wait to bring it all to you. The one and only Lisa Lampanelli. How are you? Oh my God finally someone with bigger feet than me. You know, I'm getting a little uncomfortable because my penis is in my asshole. But you know what? Join the club. You look beautiful tonight. This is very gender, gender swappy. Well, what I figured was, you know what? Everybody dresses in drag. So I'm not going to dress like a dude technically because then I look like Paula Poundstone. So I said, let me instead put a little nod to the, you know, male culture and then dress as a chick too. How are you doing? Good. How are you? It's nice to see you. I love to see another blonde on the red carpet. You look fabulous. Thank you. Please. Is this your first night of a thousand gowns? Yes, and I'm having a blast. What are you performing? I hear you have a hot new single. I do. My song is actually number one in the UK right now, which is so exciting, called Without You. But I'm not singing that. I'm singing. <laughs> I know. Well, you've got us all excited about Without You. <laughs> but you can be excited about Out of My Mind and Fade Away. Fantastic. Those are the songs you're going to be doing here tonight. Yes. What, what does Night of, Night of a Thousand Gowns mean to you and, and why are you so excited to be a part of it? I think it's exciting because there's so much diversity and people being themselves and expressing what they love. So it's a celebration and it's for a good cause. I, I was fortunate to be here 26 years ago at the Water of a Storm when the, I got to crown your first Emperor and Empress and now to see it grow and the millions of dollars that have been raised by the New York Court for the charities is, is just wonderful. By the way, you're looking very sassy, sassy. Well, I'm trying very hard. It's more than a name, it's an attitude. Ah. Last year I attended as a guest and this year I said, you know what, I want to be on the board, I want to lend anything that I can to it to give awareness. Not only is he a co-chair, but Andrew is also an amazing photographer. Andrew, where can people see your photographs and, and see everything? People can find my stuff on my website, which is Andrew Werner Photography. All right, we've got to get his shoes. And I thought I had crazy shoes, but these take it. Oh, and we love the bottoms. Where did they come from? I made them. How you doing there? Are you an Indian? No? I need customer support Wow, we have to talk about Celebrity Apprentice. Everyone is dying. You are amazing on that show. You know what? It is the most stressful thing I've ever gone through. Because let me tell you something. Those women are lazy. They are lazier than Paris Hilton's left eye. I shouldn't have to worry about carrying that whole team on my damn shoulders. You understand. Absolutely. When do you win? Oh, well, who knows? But you know what? I think my fans are going to be happy with my performance. I've just been reunited with a new best friend. This is Teresa from RuPaul's Drag Race blog. How are you? Hi, I'm wonderful. This is great to be here. You look amazing and dazzling. So what are you excited about seeing tonight, Teresa? The dresses, the dazzle, the people, the faces. You came all the way from Massachusetts down here to New York for the big coronation. What are you looking forward to? I'm actually looking forward to my command. I'm actually the Empress's command for the evening. We have to get this amazing crown. I'm, I'm loving this coat, tell me about it. Well, it's very heavy and I can't raise my hand so people are gonna think I'm a total snob because I'm not gonna wave to anybody tonight. Um, but it's by the blondes, and you know, I figured I figured this is a perfect event to wear something by the blondes too. And I'm the first person to wear it. This is from their fall 2012. Yeah. Now you're receiving the Diamond Award tonight. I am. I, oh, kill surprise! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Oh, I knew. I knew. What does it mean to you? It's 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 amazing. I mean, it's in, it's incredible. I was just saying that you know, for all, I, I mean, everyone here contributes so much to the community. It's really it's really humbling and um, a huge honor to be, you know, to be acknowledged for my contribution. You know, in such a in such a grand way. It's such a grand event. For so long, you've traveled all over the country, performing Miami, everywhere. What is it like being in New York now? I mean, there's no way better than New York City. New York is the best. I've been to Paris, Mexico, Miami, and New York. Nothing can compare to that. <laughs> the one and only Amanda Lepore. How are you? Oh, I'm just great. How are you? I'm fabulous. You are looking beautiful in this dress tonight. Oh, thank you. 
so what is going on with you? Tell me about your music. Do you have your new album is coming out? Yes, it's already out. It was out last June, and you could get it on iTunes and PeaceBiscuit.com. And um, I'm coming out with two new singles, um, a remake of um, I Want to Be Loved by You by Meryl Monroe with the disco remix, and Courtney Love's um, Doll Parts. I, I have to say, I listen to Cotton Candy constantly. It makes me so happy. What made you come up with that song? Where, what was the inspiration for that? Um, actually, Caswell wrote it about a boyfriend that was like a sweet guy, but we broke up, and he was um, like sweet. He was different. He wasn't so macho and stuff. He was sweet like cotton candy. Make sure you Google her, Amanda Laporte. I'm being knighted tonight, okay, Sassy? Well, I'm officially, hello. is it about time? You've made it. Thank you. Well, I'm a new kid on the block and they finally noticed me, but I'm finally gonna be called Sir, which I've always demanded people call me anyway. You were nice enough to always say Sir Michael. Always. Or Sir Bitch, I think you said. Sir Bitch. <laughs> I have to bend down with Johnny Wire. Oh, is, is that how you pronounce it? Weird. Uh, why jo Johnny we weird or something? I'm not I sure. Know. I forget. By any name, we're both being knighted. And is, we'll, is he yeah. giving you the sword treatment? He'll be carrying my sword for the rest of his days. But no, no, we're both going down on our knees once again. And together. So, together, yes. Like Catholic school. This is one of my favorite events of the year. I dreamed of it as a child. Just a bunch of chicks with dicks running around in jewelry. It's amazing. And it benefits charity, P Flag, which is very good. I said I'm going to find a husband because it's all these tranny chases up in here. I love it. Well, I love it. any that you discard, send them my way, girl. I will. We have a new television series called Urban Animals, which will start airing in like May or June. Urban Animals. The Animals of New York City, which is not very different than doing a show about the gays in New York City. I'm so happy. I mean, I've never seen more sparkles and sequins in one room in my life. I love it. It's very exciting. I love this outfit. Tell me about this. I made the jacket with Boy George um, just for fun and giggles. And uh, this is a friend of ours, uh, Stephen. He makes like amazing masks and gave you a little peekaboo in the back. Oh. Now, what do you have going on? Where can people find you online? Um, I have a new line called Poplex. So I'll be online on Poplex, um, www.poplex.com. It's P-O-P-L-U-X-E. This week it launches. And um, Ellen DeGeneres launched the line with me. And now we're uh, just starting to do a bunch of fun things like fragrance coming out makeup um working on a record i'm singing fabulous 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 it's a great night here in new york this is sassy signing off <laughs>